Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title below today, I'm actually going to be bringing you a DIY video here on my channel. And it has been so long since I filmed DIY, but I really wanted to film this one for you guys. I did happen to find it on Pinterest and I thought it was really cool and I really wanted to try or attempt to recreate this myself. I'm gonna call this an Ikea hack because I did happen to pick up everything for this DIY in Ikea. I'm gonna be showing you how to DIY yourself your own straw bag. Now these bags were so in trend last summer and I actually picked up one myself. And I know they actually ranged in various prices from either cheap to really expensive. But this one is most definitely going to be cheap because I think it only cost me probably about 10 euro for the whole thing. So yeah, if you would like to see how I make this, really cute little summer straw bag just keep on watching okay guys so for what you're going to need for this video you can either choose super glue um or a hot glue gun i decided to go for a hot glue gun because i feel it's a little bit stronger also make sure you have some extra glue sticks for your hot glue gun then you're going to go in with your choice of table mats i got mine from ikea and they were all only like two euro each such a bargain and i really like the color of these as well for the straw bag and then your choice of handle for your handbag, either an old belt or your choice of rope. I decided to go with a leather belt. Okay, so you're going to start it off with your flat square shaped um, table mats. These ones are perfect from Ikea because they're really flexible and really easy to bend. This is going to act as like the outer layer that attaches all of the bag together. I first went in and cut one piece and I actually did measure this off screen, by the way, for just the size and the width I would like the bag to be. And then I cut out two pieces and that is what you're going to use as the surrounding part for your bag. So off camera I actually glued one part on first and then I went in again with my hot glue gun and glued on the second part. It's really self-explanatory, very easy to do. Um, like I said this choice of table mat is really bendy as you can see so it was really easy to put together. Make sure you add a lot of pressure as well while you're gluing down the table mat to your base. Um, because you want to make sure it's stuck you don't want your bag falling apart and then I just went in with the second round table mat and made sure I had it all measured out perfectly and again just repeat the same process with the hot glue gun like you did on the base of the round one while you stuck the surrounding part of the um, table mats down very easy to do doesn't take too long but just make sure you use enough glue and this is actually kind of the shell or the handbag itself. It's so easy to do. It literally took me like 10 minutes, I'd say. Um, and this is how it looks. And then afterwards, you're just going to go in with your handle for your handbag. And like I said, I chose to use a brown leather belt that I just got in Primark. I think it was like two euro, so very inexpensive. And rather than having your typical two strap to handbag, I decided to go for one where it kind of crossed over like a crossbody. And this is the final look here, guys. I think it's so cute and I really hope you all like it. I'm so excited to wear this. Okay, guys, and that is it for today's video. I really hoped you liked this little DIY. I haven't filmed one of these in a long time and I am no way a professional DIYer. Don't know if that's what you'd call it, but um, I just thought I would attempt to make this. It was really fun and I really liked the finished product. It could be better, I know, but it was just an attempt and was for just a little bit of fun. So if you guys would like to try this out, be sure to let me know in the comments below if you do and send me some pictures on Instagram. I would love to see how your bags look. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And like always, guys, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.